hi guys welcome to this 26 tutorial in this series of programming peak microcontroller with flow code for absolute beginners in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to interface an sd card to a peak microcontroller a memory card also called a flash memory card is a solid state electronic data storage device used for storing digital information these memory cards are commonly used in many electronic devices, including digital cameras, mobile phones, laptops, computers, MP3 players, and so on. They are small, rewritable, and are able to retain data without even power. This ability to retain data and the ability to rewrite many times is the key for flash memory card applications, for example, in digital cameras, where the saved pictures are not lost after the memory card is removed from the camera. Memory card are also used in data logging devices or in similar applications where a large number of data is to be stored permanently on a file for future analysis. The SD card or secure digital card are the most widely used memory cards today. They are based on MMC, and in terms of functionality, they are the same except that the SD card had an optional encryption feature. The SD are physically thicker than the MMC and will not fit into the MMC slot, but the MMC on the other end can easily be inserted into the SD card slot. SD cards are also available in three different sizes. We've got the normal SD card, the mini SD card and the micro SD card. This table displays some technical properties of memory card. The section that is going to concern us the most is the SD card. Their maximum capacity is 4 gig. The maximum write speed is 150 megabyte per second. The maximum read speed is also 150 megabyte per second. Its operating voltage is 3.3 volt and it's got 9 pins. The mini SD card has the capacity of 4 GB as well. Its read and write speed is 100 megabit per second. It has 11 pins and it operates on 3.3 volt as well. The micro SD card is similar to the mini SD card but it's got fewer pins. It's got 8 pins. The SDHC card, it's got 64 GB capacity with a speed of 48 MB per second for write and read. It operates on 3.3 volt as well and it's got 9 pins like the SD card. The new SDXC card have a capacity of up to 2 TB at the moment. Most of SD cards and MMC particularly those below 2 GB, use the FAT16 standard, while the one between 2 GB and 2 TB use the FAT32 standard. As you have seen from that table, the SD card has got 9 pins with a write protect switch, which can be used to enable or to disable the writing to the SD card. A standard SD card can be operated in two modes, the SD bus mode, and the SPI bus mode. In SD bus mode, all the pins of the SD card are used. Data is transferred using four pins, data zero to data three, a clock pin, and a command line pin. In SPI bus mode, which is the most commonly used mode for SD cards at the moment, the normal SPI pins are used for the SD card. The chip select pin is pin one, Data in is pin 2, the clock pin is pin 5, data out is pin 7, the positive supply is pin 4, the ground is pin 3, and pin 6. The SD card requires 3.3 volt, so the normal 5 volt of your peak microcontroller is not going to be enough for your SD card. And the other thing that you should consider is the SD card input voltage is 2.48 volt so we're gonna need a voltage divider using some resistors to set correctly these voltages this circuit shows how you can use how you can interface an sd card 
to a peak microcontroller in SPI mode. In this example, the chip select pin is connected to RC2. The clock pin of the SD card is connected to the SPI clock pin of the peak microcontroller. In this case, RC3, the data out of the SD card is connected to the SPI data in of the microcontroller, in this case, to pin RC4. And lastly, the data in of the SD card should be connected to SPI data out of the microcontroller, in this case, RC5. Pin 4 is connected to positive 3.3 volt, and pin 3 and pin 6 are connected to ground. These resistors are used to step down the logical voltage of the peak microcontroller because a logical one from the peak microcontroller is about 4.3 volt, which is too high than what the SD card can handle. So these resistors are used to set the SD card input voltage to about 2.48 volt. Thank you guys. This is the end of this part. In the second part, we're going to discuss more about the code. Reading and writing onto SD card is very complex and requires some complex functions and procedures to handle the card input and output operations correctly. The great news is that you don't have to fully understand the internal operation of this card as most high-level peak programming compilers like Flowcode or MPLAB XC8 compilers provide a library of command to initialize reading and writing to this card. In Pi 2, we're going to learn to use flow code SD card micros to initialize, to read and to write to SD card. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials. And I'll see you in part two. Thank you.